We're here for a PTL Season 8 quarterfinal. I'm Aaron P. and with me is... Stephen Moss. So on the left-hand side we have... Evan flying Nora, Lorik, and Jess. So this is a little outside of the wheelhouse of Evan's typical list that I see him fly. Uh, and over on the other side we've got Perry Lowe. Perry... Uh, he's originally from Toronto, but he's been living down in South California, so people out there may know him. Uh, down there, he was a lone wolf, not associated with any particular squadron. Uh, and he's flying Poe Dameron, the Intensity build. Then he's got a wild snap build. He's got BB-8, prime thrusters, so he can still perform boosts and barrel rolls when he's stressed. Yep. Uh, and Daredevil. Yeah, strange, right? That's some throwback action there. And, of course, auto thrusters. Uh, and finally, he has the stress bug with Ezra, with Snapshot, Harris Syndulla, and R3A2. So, uh, we were looking at the rock placement. Yep. Um, why did you uh, engineer the rock placement such as you did there? My, my three are all the ones on his board edge. I want to stay in formation. He doesn't, so I want them away from me. Right. <laughs> Good call. Good, Good call. And so, walk me through your list. Uh, it's honestly, it's a list been running for a while in Vassal, but it's supposed to be with Saw's Renegade. So it's supposed to be um, Wedge, PS11, Flight Assist, uh, and Nora and um, Lurik. No yeah. Saw's out yet, so uh, yep. Wedge gets swapped out for, for Jess. Who Not a terrible swap out, especially no. flying in formation. Yeah. The, the nice thing about the Wedge list is both Wedge and Nora can be scary late game, yeah. where Jess is not so scary late game. Truth. So, so uh, why'd you put the asteroids where you put them? I wanted to give enough space um, for Snap to do Snap things. Uh, he's going to be able to 3, 2, bang, 1, 2 forward, and he's going to take his action, and then he can daredevil. So I want to give as much room as possible to give myself as much options as possible with snap. Right. And, you know, if the, if the asteroids are too close, what I found out in a test game was mm -hmm. sometimes you can't daredevil, and you could daredevil yourself on the rock, and that would just be bad. Hit bummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it will be a bummer. Uh, and so what's your expected path of attack here? What do you uh, think? I'm hoping to bank a ray or two. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't decided yet if I want to turn in towards uh, Poe and just try and kind of bully him away, mm -hmm. or if I go straight along my board edge to buy a bit of time and then uh, try and go on, on Ezra. I want to get Ezra off the board quicker, if possible. Obviously, stress is not fun for my list, so... Yeah, he's a nasty little bug. Yeah. So why have you uh, separated Poe out from the other two here? Well, the idea is trying... Well, I know he's going to keep formation as long as possible. I want, him to, I want to see if I can bait him to take Poe and then slowly move up um, Snap and Ezra up the middle, see if I get him in the rocks, and then let Snap do Snap things once, I, once he's in once he's close range, Snap can get around the back. Right. Um, and Poe will just, Poe being an intensity Poe, um, he'll be fully tokened up by the time that he gets into the fight, target lock, evade, and everything he needs to do. And any other thoughts on strategy here? Who's, who's the target you gotta kill? Target priority, somewhere between Nora, I'd say. If I can get enough dice on Nora and bring her down, that re like, just to get rid of the regen Nora, I've always found that to be a problem. Yeah, for initially. sure. Initially, so if she goes down, then the rest of the list is less of a problem. It's less of a problem with Lorik with Snap because he can get behind him. Um, Jess, Jess is Jess. It's always nice hearing people's strategies before they're starting. It gives you yeah. a little bit of that insight on why did they do it, why did they pick what they picked, how, why did they set up, how they set up. Yeah, well, here these two guys have been playing together in Epic as allies <laughs> and Team Epic. And so it just happened that randomly they've been set against each other and, and all that fraternity is now coming to enmity. So uh, this should be pretty awesome. They're pretty familiar with each other's strategies. Um, and Perry seemed to know <laughs> that Evan would go for a couple rounds of banking focus tokens. Might as well, right? He's definitely got to worry about that with uh, Ezra on the board, throwing stress. I um, mean, if he can bank a big enough stack for himself, yep. you know, you're not immune to stress, but it certainly helps if you can start calling tokens up. Absolutely. I mean, it'll take away Lorik's ability to defend to some degree, but he'll still be hitting hard with those focus tokens. So we got Ezra coming in. Yeah, playing it nice and slow. Snap right behind him. Chooses not to BB-8 there. Yeah, makes sense. I think Poe will do something equally as slow rolly. You know, if he's trying to bait him in, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
you know, it's just taking her time. So I found when flying uh, Kyle Katarn Nora, you, you do want to get her stressed. Yep. The round before engagement, sure. so you get the triple actions yeah. coming in. We've got a one straight. So with intensity here, he needs to do a boost, which he can do with flight, flight assist. Flight assist, exactly. Yep. yep. Nothing there. <laughs> and that'll give him a token. Yep, straight into intensity. From intensity, and then he can do another token with his regular action, which he's forgotten, or maybe what he's done is he's just shorthanded it and said, and then I take a focus. Yeah. I'll actually be really curious, like you said, with Poe and his black one is nasty against Nora's ability. Yeah. Like, Nora wants those target locks, but unless Evan targets Poe, I mean, I know he can pull him from an ally within range one, I don't know if that's really Perry's strategy to keep them that tight into one another. Yeah, clearly not at this point. Um, so black one won't help Ezra if that entire list manages to point itself at Ezra. It's going to hurt him. Yep. Yeah, and similar to, um, you want that Ezra stressed early. Yep. Right? Um, so, I mean, we'll probably be looking for somewhere he'll do a long move or a hard turn in. Yeah. So to pull that stress. Evan has the initiative, so Lorik is moving before... Ezra and will be shooting before him. So, like you just said, he'll need to do a stress with uh, a stress move with Ezra in order to get his defense working. Yep. So it looks like Perry is trying to draw Evan towards his right hand side. And it looks like Evan kind of played it fast there. Yeah. He's got. Oops. Not really that big of a deal. Like, I could see Ezra just hard turning to pick up the stress token, to be honest. Yep. Um, you can also do a four straight. With Hera on her, you can just sit there and start throwing that K-turn and let Snapshot work for you. Yeah. Like, it's a nasty, fun ship to fly. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad that um, Perry didn't get to take the initiative here. Yeah, absolutely love flying Snap Ezra. Yeah. He's fun. He's one of those ships that you want to pull a lot of arcs on him, but man, if your opponent's dice go hot, he does not die. You know, you start throwing yep. those focus rolls on your defense. It's a shockingly stout little ship. Indeed. Yeah, there'll, there'll be some games where Ezra will just dodge everything, and then others where you just double blank and yeah. die. You're like, great. <laughs> Super. How? Wait. Can no. I buy a focus resolve, please? <laughs> That'd be an interesting mechanism in X-Wing. Give me paint. That is all I want. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be curious to see if Evan slow rolls this or if he's going to turn in. Well, it looks like he's got another round to slow roll if he wants it. Yeah. Um, if he two turns now with the lot, maybe a three with Jess. Um, he's got a really nice path if he does that. Like, I'm looking at that rock in the center. He tur hard turns in, depending on your maneuver. You've got a nice pathway to pretty much walk yourself up the top of the board and stay in formation if you want. Mm -hmm. um, if he does like a one straight or something along those lines, yeah, and here we see the hard turn. Right. We'd have to worry about that rock. Yeah. I mean, this sets him up to deal with the snap Ezra combo, whichever way it goes. Yeah. Poe's also got to be worried, too, because you can just hard turn again from that <laughs> point as well. Yep. Yeah, Evan's such a solid player, though. Um, but And I've not really seen Perry play too much, but I'm sure he's great if he made it this far. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, brings his Southern California techniques. Okay, so we have Ezra not even trying to engage this round. Interesting. It's not a great spot for Ezra. I mean, he no. can three bank next turn to get a shot, but Jess and Lorik will have moved first. Does Ezra have a hard one? Red? No, they don't. No? Okay. No. 
Got a three turn, but that's just Rock City. Yeah, not great. I mean, Poe could come in here and look at removing target locks from Ezra. Yeah, that Poe's nice and nimble, too. You yeah. know, with flight assist, he, I think he definitely wants to play that range game nice and hard. Yep. Um, it's really interesting to actually see flight assist on Poe over BB-8. Yeah. Um, you know, he's Harry's obviously really familiar with snap. I mean, you don't really even see snap on the board that often. No, we don't. Um, but BB-8 snap is a really nice snap. Yeah. Oh, snap is great. He's just one of those ships who's priced too high. And yeah. you're like, oh, Corners. I want to put him in a list. Oh, wow, he costs that much? I don't want to put him in a list anymore. Uh, I really like him with uh, R3A2 and furballs. Right. Yeah, yeah. fun little ship and furballs. It'll be interesting to see which of the resistance pilots turn up in 2.0. Yeah, I completely agree. I'm really interested to see how they do the resistance in general. Like, yeah. will trajectory simulators stay in the game? If so, will it just be on the new bomber for mm -hmm. resistance only? Which would add a nice bit of character to one ship. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really neat idea. I don't know if every ship needs it. I don't particularly like the mechanic. Well, we, you know the big bomber? That's pretty neat. We do know that the, um, that the uh, TIE Punisher can do it because the text on Death Rain says when you launch a bomb. Ah, uh, gotcha. And we Death Fire, the TIE Bomber, also her text refers to her launching a bomb. If you launch a... Uh, before you die, you may launch a bomb. Now, that might be a one-time ability for her in the case if she dies. But uh, the mechanic is definitely still in the game. Whether or not it'll be a five straight launch or, like, have options, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, and bombs just are a little different now. Yeah. So we'll see. Their entire mechanic on how they work is just different. Well, I really like it how all bombers will drop all bombs at the same time. Yep, so there's same. no longer any PS advantage. Nim's not any better than a Y-Wing at dropping bombs. Okay, we got a two-bank for Jess. Here we go. And looks like she's got Poe and Arc, so doesn't need her astromech. She's just jousting. And Lorik following behind. Just Jostin. Makes sense. I love that build on Jess. It's so basic yeah, and it's great. such a great 26 points. I mean, almost anything you... If you keep Jess below, like, 28 points, she's always awesome. Yeah. She's just does great stuff. What's well, wow. that nasty target priority with her, right? Like, what do you do? Do you ignore Jess and let her get all those rerolls? Or do you want to sink rolls? Because when she gets those rerolls, she doesn't die super fast either. No. No, Ooh, no. This is nice. Yeah, Perry's setup here is... Kind of what he was talking about doing. He's got snap around the side of that formation now. He does have to worry about Lorik's 180 degree arc. Yep. Um, I feel like Ezra might be in trouble here. Yeah. This is a lot of heat. And he is not, uh, as you pointed out, stressed. So all of these guys, no, not Jess, but the other two are going to shoot before he can get himself tokens. Yeah, this is how you can kill an Ezra. Yep. Um, now, given, I'm going to be really curious to see here if Perry remembers that Black One title, that he can pull target locks from other ships. Yeah, it doesn't look like... He's in arc, I think, of Nora. Now, I believe he has to check for the BB-8 after the booster barrel roll. And since he can only boost here, he might be out of range for using BB-8. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because you're right. He's in arc, so he gets no... Uh, that flight assist isn't going to give him that barrel roll. Yeah. Which would be really useful right it now. It would. So he takes a target lock on Nora. Okay. I've got to admit, I think his target priority on this, I don't know if I would try to target Nora first. I think I would try to kill the Wookiee. Yeah. I mean, it's almost always the best strategy. Burn the damn Wookiee down so he can't do his damn Wookiee things anymore. I mean, especially with selflessness. Like, that's not... So we have what looks like a range two. two. So Poe's going to take his target lock shot at Nora and see where it gets him. Uh, it's not great. He's going to spend the lock. There you and go. He's going to hold the lock. Nora rolls nothing, spends Lorik's token, and takes one damage. That is so insignificant for Nora. She just don't care. Looks like a range three on Ezra, and he's not yet stressed. Oh, dear. So saying this sarcastically, I absolutely love Rebel Regen. <laughs> Everything it represents in this game. Well, it's coming back, but limitedly. 
I still think R2 is a great card. Yeah. Oh, R2 looks pretty wild. So that looks like three damage into Ezra. Some bad news for Ezra. Ouch. One. Yeah, that Ezra could get burned. So two Super remain on him. Super fast, right? Yeah, I mean, these two guys could kill him right here. Oh, yeah, Snap Shoots next. He's going to go on... Oh, man, I'd be dumping that into the Wookiee. Oh, yeah. Wookiee's got no reinforce. Do it. Shoot him. Look at that illegitimate use of hat up there in the top left corner. That hat just appeared on the table. Devin's it is. Hat. Oh, yeah. It is so interesting, though, watching the game when you're not playing it. Yeah. It becomes a lot more clear on, oh, man, I would shoot this. You're playing the game, and you're like, I'm going to kill Jess. Yeah. <laughs> super annoying. Yeah. Uh, Got I mean, that's why it's fun to sit in the booth and talk about other people's games like you're yeah. an expert. <laughs> <laughs> There's Devin in his manly green fatigue outfit. Not wearing the hat, though. Loses no. a lot. Well, that's on the table. It's this whimsical summer hat. Yeah. Not that it's very summery here today. Yeah, weird weather. Chilly yeah. today. All right, we got so two. So that was snap shooting at somebody with three dice. Just Must be just. Oh, Jess gets bad dice and... Takes one. Takes one. I mean, I think that's all you can expect out of that. Yeah, no, I mean, that was really quite lucky. And that brings us to Lorik, and he's got... Spending the focus for hit crit. So Ezra is still not stressed. Tactician doesn't take place till after the shot. I expect that's what they're talking about. Oh, boy, I wouldn't use it. Do you have to use Tactician? No, he doesn't. It's okay. Yeah. It doesn't apply to after the shot. We know Ezra's going to stress himself, so makes a little difference here. I wouldn't add that stress so Jess can have a clean shot. Well, Ezra will shoot before Jess, and he'll shoot next. So he'll, oh, he'll R3A to yep, good point. probably Nora. I'm not sure if Nora took a stress. She must have, right? She must um, have. Um... Actually, no, no, I don't see a token. Yeah, it's probably just hidden from us. And I think that was one more damage on Ezra. Oh, it's crit. crit. Direct hit. Was it? A direct That's hit. A, He's uh, gone. Dead Ezra. He will get to return fire at his initiative, of course. So that's bad news for Perry. Yeah, it sure is. Um... That lets Nora with PTL run around a lot more. Yeah. I mean, that really opens her up. Yeah. He, he's lost his counter to her. Uh, Ezra just did no damage to Nora. And now Jess can just have a nice shot on Poe. Yeah, why not, right? Why not? He's there. Yeah, he's got thrusters. So let's see this roll. That looks like three. All right. Well, that's good news for Perry. Yeah, now is the time for good news. And as uh, Jess does Jess things Hot and fire. gets three. <laughs> and yeah, Poe is only going to really take one. See that. Do you want to take the damage or do you want to spend that token? Yeah. Spent that token. Yeah, I mean, without the regen, I wouldn't be holding that token either. Yep. So the problem is now is without... Um, Flight assist being as active as it usually was since we're in a little tighter. Mm -hmm. uh, intensity is going to be a little harder to get working. Yep. Yeah. Pose in a really rough spot here. Snap. Still does have the target lock, I think, on Nora. I think he spent it. I can't see it. Oh, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, people do that thing where they only use one half of the target lock now. It's becoming trendy, and it confuses yeah. the hell out of me. I wonder if he's actually got it on the front of his base. Yeah, he probably I'm does. I'm actually kind of a fan of that. Yeah. I hate that. Really? <laughs> I always miss that the target lock is there, and I'm like, curses, you have a target lock. Yep. I didn't know about that. Almost as bad as when my opponent has all their cards in a big messy pile, and I'm like, okay. That sounds this, like me. This is a good maneuver. <laughs> what? You have brockets? Where? I don't yep. see your brockets. Oh, underneath that stack. Right. Very similar with magnetized bases. When the uh -huh. ship is pointing the other direction than yep. the arc, that... That's another good head fake. Kicks my butt. I hate that. <laughs> Especially and then, in a tournament. Yeah. One game, it usually isn't that big of a deal. You get into like a six, seven round tournament. That yeah. is super easy to screw that one up. Yeah. 
And then there's the the other head fake, the use the wrong dial covers. Yeah. The wrong colored dial yeah. covers, and your opponent's like, what? No, I thought that was Riad. Yeah. Damn you. <laughs> All right. So we're still not sure if Nora's double stressed. She might not have been. She might have taken stress in the previous round. I think Nora's only single stressed right now. That's all I can see, yeah. I think she just too hearted in. Yeah. Um, You're and right. didn't push. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, you're just going to see a one bank out of Nora here. Yeah. I think you're right. Uh, Snap's going to be in a wonderful spot. Yep. He's just going to come in and shoot the target of his choice. He's not using BB-8 here. He's going to do his snap boost. Why'd he do a straight? He gave himself Daredevil. I'm not sure what happened. Now there's Daredevil. Oh, he's doing it as his action boost? I'm not really sure what happened. Well, gives the mark. Yeah, I mean, it does give you a nice range one on Lorik, who yeah. just reinforced the wrong direction. But it's unmodified. True. Man, that's swingy. Yeah. yeah. Like, always the problem with that, too. So Nora clears the stress. She can lock a tokenless um, snap for a butt shot. Yeah, and the butt shot of that arc is really solid. It's scary. Or she can try to get Poe, and if you're Poe here, there is a rock just on the other side of Nora. So either he's turning, he's banking in, or he's turning away, one or the other. If he's turning away, he may get out. I actually thought about running a very similar list to what Evans are running. Um, ooh, running away. Yep. Um, yeah, it gives him a nice barrel roll. Yep. Um, because he's no longer an arc from Flight Assist. Yeah, he can totally get out of there. And just arc dodge this. Well, he can't arc dodge lower. To an extent, right? But yeah. he can arc dodge the others. Yeah, I thought about taking a very similar list to this, except instead of um, Nora mm -hmm. running a standard, like, beefy regen Poe. Right. I really like the Jess Lorick mm -hmm. Poe list. It's flying X-Wings, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's always, it just feels good. Oh, yeah, it's fun. I was flying uh, a no regen version uh, with uh, Nora, Poe, and um, Fen Rao. Yeah. And it was fun. Yeah. I had flight assist on Nora. Yeah. And that pushed the limit, and that was basically it. And uh, she was so much fun to fly, because suddenly she was fast. Okay, so... Yeah, it's going to be a savage shot, for sure. We've got a big stack of tokens by Nora over there. She only gets one. Snap dodges it. And now we have snap on low. Range one. Will he get lucky? He gets two hits, which is pretty good. Not terrible. And Lorik could spend his focus. Did he forget to give himself his focus? No, nope, nope. he spent it. Just couldn't see it. So now the question is, is Lorik range two of Poe? If he is, he stresses him. Yeah. Which is awful for Ooh. a move. Yeah. Yeah. That's... I mean, it, it does kind of help. He did manage, uh, Perry did manage to get that focus token on Poe. Yeah. Um, with that, so, you know, Poe's pretty stress resistant. Yeah, so he'll take one damage. Oh, no, take no damage. Yeah. But won't he have to spend the focus he has to flip his intensity back? If he wants to, right? Right, 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 right. He can just leave it exhausted for a while. And in this case, I think you leave it exhausted for a bit. Yeah. That'd be the right call. And it's nice. He does get to move last. Um, you know, he's got the formation now nicely split, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he's got a ship in front and a ship behind. Do you want to keep chasing Poe? You're going to eat it with Snap. Yep. And Snap can do a green next turn because yeah. he's got BB-8. He can go either direction with a barrel roll and then do a green and clear that stress. Yeah, kind of a sketchy spot, actually, with, for um, Evan. That Snap can start laying in a lot of damage. The worry he's got to have here, though, is that Nora might turn her attention back to Snap. Yes. Yeah, you've got to be so hesitant here, because, I mean, neither of those ships are regening. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. 
I mean, Jess can talon roll here and just light them oh. up. Yep. Talon roll K. Yeah, talon roll or K turn. Move up, you know, one, two forward with low rick. Just reinforce the back. Yep. So what do you do if you're Poe here? Um. Well, I mean, you have all... You've got some nice options right here. You can turn oh, down yeah. or up on the board, which yep. is kind of nice. Um, but you're stressed. You are stressed. I think you don't worry about stress this round. Right. I, I would not put myself in a bad position. I would go for position here. Obviously, you can't use a red because uh, a talon roll here would be pretty nice. Yep. Um, but without that being the case, I would probably just do something like a two hard down. Right. Try to force the uh, Evans ships to chase you. Yeah. Uh, now, unfortunately, Perry did that, <coughs> pardon me, shenanigans with flight assist last round, and he forgot to use black one. Norris target lock is still on him. Oh, yeah, good point. It's one of the things <laughs> I don't like about black one. Well, no, I guess I like black one. I just never. hate myself for forgetting the damn thing. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's so what are you doing here right now? I think I'd be doing like a one bank up with snap. No yep. reason to really do anything crazy. Um, be tempting to do that too, to have a boost. But Nora... Uh, did a green last turn, didn't she? I think she might actually be at full health. Yeah. And there's the K from Jess. I think we're going to see Evan switch targets and just try to wipe Snap out. Yeah, now this is an interesting thing. If Perry called that and turned up the board, mm -hmm. not bad. You mean towards Jess or away? Towards Jess. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Splitting the force, splitting the group. If he clears, Ooh, I think so. That's by a hair, if at all. Yeah, oh, I yeah. think he's in. Wow, nice. Ooh, yeah. Very nice maneuver. Yeah. So he's just going to reinforce the butt. Looks like. Yeah, I mean, I don't see Poe getting a shot yep. this round. And Lorik is in a great spot to lay another stress on him next round. So, Perry is using BB-8, and he is going to BB-8 the other way. And do a two straight, maybe. Then he gets to use Snope, just the one bank. So he can't use Snap's boost. Gets him out of that arc of uh, Lorik, though. Yeah. Poe, though, if he gets double stressed, that's where it's a less sad Poe, right? Yeah. I mean, you don't get to... Your reposition, then, is gone on a green maneuver. Yeah, I think he, he'll... If he's seen that, he'll, he'll think to do the green. And Nora just lines her pain train up on snap. Something's happening here. Barrel roll. Yeah, I think that leaves him still range one of Lorik. Or her range one of Lorik. Yep, just gives him that nice wide arc. Poof. Yep. So it doesn't matter if he boosts or not. It looks like he's he'll still be in range two. Yeah. Ooh, that's not great. Hopefully he can make that bank one next turn. Oh, he's going for a boost. Will he fit? Looks like he's good. Did that give him that range three? That was masterfully three? done. I think that was 
safe. Yeah, that will help him turn around a bit faster, I think. Only downside I see really is next round. You're going to be really predictable on where you are. Yeah. So no shot for Poe. Nora's doing her butt shot. Getting hit crit, is it? I'm not sure. Yep. Looks like it. And Snap has no focus, so he'll take another one. Did he take one last round? He did. Yeah. yeah. Snap is definitely down on shields a little further than that. Yeah. And I think Nora has two on her, looks yeah. like. So we got two. Perry spending the lock. And three. And Lorik rolls an evade. Has the reinforce. Takes one. Jeez. Damn, 1.0 <laughs> reinforce. Damn that 1.0 reinforce. And this looks like it's a range three, so... Uh, would reinforce on 2.0 work like that? Doesn't it add an evade down to one? Yeah, so you take a minimum of one when yeah. you're being shot at. Yeah, true then. Yep, so you would have taken at least... Well, he did end up taking one. Mm -hmm. Right, so... So, Poe has to spend his focus to evade the Lorik shot, I thought. Or maybe it was just the Poe ability. And Jess rolls garbage and gets one. Snap has auto thrusters, so he's not taking it. Yeah. So I think that went pretty well for Perry. What was a difficult situation was made better with yeah. that uh, shenanigans where he got Poe. About as well as you can expect, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't think you can really go for much more. He did even get to re recharge intensity, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, which is fantastic. So next round, I think that Poe's going to eat some shots from L Lorik and likely the rest of the list. Um, but it'll be fully tokened up. Mm -hmm. you know, that's You can really can't ask for any more than that. Yeah, I think it was about the best he could do with that position. I mean, Lorik has to go forward. He could turn left, but it's not great for him. Um, yeah. One forward or a one bank. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, he could try to go around the asteroid to his right. Sure. Yeah, he could definitely do that. Um, yeah. Ah, gotcha. So, Thank you, Twitch. Jess is still in a nice position here. Oh, yeah. Jess is going to get her shot. Yeah. Nora's got the ARC-170 problem where the fight is in the other direction. And she's flying away with the stress. Yeah. Got to get herself back around. And it's going to take two rounds. And she can do a green here. Get a free focus from Kyle and target lock somebody. Probably snap. And well, then next the round, thing, right? You can turn. just do something like a one forward. I mean, it depends on what you end up doing with Jess. I'd probably jump Nora. Yeah. With Jess, um, maybe just one forward Nora. To be honest, like that rear butt shot can do some serious damage. Yeah. And you'll be that full end at that point too. Yeah. Like. I mean, if it did come down to an end game with this Poe versus Nora. Um, we got, oh, it would be 41 to 41. Does either yeah. of them have a bid? Uh, looks like there is a one-point bid on uh, Perry's side. And over there. No. We, all right. So that means Poe wins if it's Poe and Nora in the end game, and he just doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, certainly doable. Um, that Poe can run, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what you'd be doing. I just take that and get myself the hell away from Nora. Yeah. Nora's not going to have very much luck trying to hunt Poe, that Poe. But, of course, that assumes that Perry kills his way through Jess and Lorik, which he's a long way from doing. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't see it. Like, I'm not saying that he couldn't pull this one out. Um, this is a stout list right now. Yeah. 
without a lot of damage being thrown. It's a good word for it. Stout. It is. I mean, it's a chunky list, right? Yeah. You've got Reinforce. Jess is nasty to take down. Yeah. And then you've got a Regen ship. Yeah. Like... That's interesting. Two straight for Lorik. That is interesting. I wonder why he did that versus just instead of doing like a one straight. Um, My guess is he's going to try to come behind Poe in subsequent rounds. I think Perry can just do arc dodge this, though. And that Poe with boost should be able to get the... Uh, actually, that I don't know if that Poe can get out without getting eating a shot. So we got BB-8 and another one bank. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's all in on... Yeah. He's going to eat it from Jess. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Wow. So he's taking a focus. But at the same time, I mean, it, that ship's got to come off the board. So you might as well. Yeah. Wow. Nora goes away. I guess she's just having a repositioning round. Not much he can do with that. Oh, he's got vectored thrusters. He could barrel roll. Yeah, still not going to give him Poe, though, this round. No, might give him a shot on snap, though. Maybe. Yeah, he's just going to put a lock somewhere for later. Yeah. But, of course, that's pointless on Poe. I want to pull it on snap. Yep. I don't know. I personally would be thinking barrel roll here. Yeah, I like that better too. You got barrel roll to the left, um, yep. all the way out, so you can two hard next round. Yep. Um, Smash snap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nope, he's going the other way. You know, I'm not really sure why, but Evan's a fantastic player, so I'm sure he sees yeah. something I just don't. He may just want to stay wide on his targets here. And what did Poe do? He did only a bank one. Ooh. Yeah, that Poe's going to eat a shot. Big time. But he's got flight assist. So he's going to barrel roll. And go face to face with Low Rick. Oh, uh, you know that Low Rick's eating a lot of damage for and sure and can he focus evade there yeah I think he can there we go yep it doesn't really matter which way um, Lorix reinforces he's getting a range one shot on a re unreinforced side from yep. one side to the other alright so we got Poe shooting nice dice he gets three we got Lorix rolling that evade only taking one only taking one that's wild. And that was just his third shield, wasn't it? So oh no, he's got a he's got a face down card. How did that work? Did he reinforce the back? Yeah, uh, I think he yeah, it must the have back. must have, yeah. Ooh, and hot fire. Hot fire. And he rolls an evade again. Wow. So Lurik is gonna live but hurt. He so. a major explosion. <laughs> Not sure what that was. Major hull breach. Not Sergeant Hall Breach, but Major Hall Breach. Little dad joke there. <laughs> uh, it's bad. All right, so Lorik rolls some. Uh, yep, rolls one, and Perry blanks out. So Poe takes the damage. No, no, he doesn't because of the evade token. Never mind me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Jess. Yeah, this is where you lay fire no in. No longer with any allies at range one. Rolls oh, badly. It's brutal. It is. And snap, don't care. All right, so whatever Evan was trying to do with Lorik there, whatever gamble he was making, did not pay off. I think the only move he's got is a two turn left. Um, I mean, he could bank one. Just left. one forward. Yeah, that corner's starting to look kind of scary then, though. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
means Snap is going to K-turn. Well, he can't K where he is because he'll bump into Poe, right? Poe will move first, though. He'll be going. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yep. Uh, Talon roll. I mean, he's got BB-8, so he can plan another bank one green and just see what the heck Lorik does. And he can do the bank one green normally, or he can barrel roll first depending upon where he goes. Yeah. I mean, Jess can just one forward and probably shoot at snap again. There's only With bad... Flight assist going on? Yeah. Almost certainly, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was bad luck last round. And I think the round before she had bad luck as well. Very uncharacteristic for Jess. I mean, he has separated them, right? Yep. Like, that was his call to barrel roll Jess out. He would have had a re-roll there. Yep. That he chose not to have. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure why he did that barrel roll. I mean, with an ARC 170 against a T70 with auto thrusters, you want range 2 and 1. You don't want range 3. Right? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. This is certainly a tipping point, though. Like, yep. this is a really big turn right here. So we still have a fresh Poe Dameron. Snap with, I think, two damage on him. Where's his card? I mean, these guys are keeping track of it, so if Snap's they say it's one... Snap's definitely hurt. Yeah, well, he's taking one for sure. And Lorik has that major hull breach and three hull remaining. So whatever hits he takes this time are not going to be nice. Well, I mean, that Lorik is realistically pretty toast. Yeah. He might live if he takes only one shot from one of those T-70s. Yeah. But he'll still have to get lucky for that to happen. And then Jess and Nora are going to have to, if that happens, Jess and Nora are going to have to chase these two higher PS T-70s around. Yeah, I mean, Nora has PS on Snap, yeah. but um, like you said, that Poe is one point more. Yeah. Well, only with the bid. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's be honest, that's a super real possibility here. Yep. Okay, we got a... One forward. The expected one straight here. Yep. One straight to victory. Yeah, his dice have been so bad he's actually contemplating a target lock with Jess. <laughs> and Jess isn't going to get shot. No. Like I think I would too. One forward. Oh, he did bank. I mean, that does have the virtue of blocking a couple of the things that Poe might try. It does. I think the 4K would fit for Poe, which might be a good call at this juncture. Flips that. Right. So he's really just hoping for positioning and flipping his major hull breach. So we've got the BB-8 maneuver, uh, barrel roll, then a one straight, perhaps. Yep. And that is most likely all she wrote for Lorik. Yeah, agreed. What is Poe going to do? Oh, we got Nora next. Too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Get back in there, Nora. Well, here's the call. Does he go for a very lethal shot on snap. Yep, he's putting the target lock. Oh, no, he's trying with no success. Oh, brutal. Well, I guess we'll wait and see. I think, no. Well, he can barrel roll her forward. That has the added advantage of giving Jess a re-roll. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing, too. That you took a target lock for, sadly. Yeah, Still leaves you plenty of space from that rock, too. Yeah, in two bank or something. Push, take the lock. 
What did Bowden? Two turn. Let's all target lock that Jess. Now's the time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he had no way to boost there, so he couldn't get an evade. So it's just target lock, focus on Jess. Wow. So it ended up being a not really bad position for Evan. We got two hits, target lock into two hits, two crits. <laughs> and Jess rolls nothing. Does she have the reroll from range one? Guess not. It's counting out a crit. Looks like structural Weapons damage, I think. Damage? That Ouch. sucks. That's on Jess. Another crit as well. Wow. Wow, this game just like swung wildly. Oh, and he pops the loose, uh, the, the integrated astromech to get rid of, I think, loose stabilizer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because he would have been waiting on to see if the second crit was really bad. Wow. So that leaves Jess on two hull. Nora has a range two through the rock shot on Poe. Unmodded. Oh, no, wait. She took the lock on snap, so she might still shoot him. He'll have auto thrusters and stuff. Spending the lock for three. And snap has four dice. It's auto thrusters. Spends the focus. And he takes none. Wow. That's All right. a heck of a swing. And now Snap puts Lorig down. He, that looks like it will. <laughs> he rolls the evade again. This is the most evading Lorik there is. So one crit is all. No, it's it was not. two. Yeah. Direct. Direct Whoa. No, it's dead. Uh, he used the action to flip down the major hall breach. Right. So he didn't right, have right, right, right. 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 Wow. And Jess gets only one again on snap. Savage. Takes it. Wow. Wow, this just became an intensely close game. Can Nora even hunt down snap? Um, yeah. I mean, with that barrel roll and his snap ability and Daredevil... Not easily, no. But no, he's, he's a tough fish to catch. He has to move first, but if he can get into good blocking positions, which he can. That was a crazy amount of damage thrown onto Jess. Um, without her PS, where her PS is right now, Yeah. she can't even really hunt, to be honest. She'll just yeah. get PS killed. Snap can Talon and then do uh, a boost. Yep. Because he's got prime thrusters. Yep. So he's really tricky here. That said, that's not what I would do with him here. I'd just do a three turn and boost into where I think Nora is going. Try to block her. Yep. And then have Poe take the shot to kill Jess. Yeah, I agree. I'd be trying to throw the block right here. Yep. Just keep Nora tied up until you can get Jess off the board, and then two T-70s on Nora. Should be able Nora. to kill her. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, I think it'll actually take that to bring her down, to be yeah. honest. And, you know, there's only half an hour left in the game, and killing regen Nora, who's at full health, this is a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to be really careful because his ships don't have the regen, mm -hmm. so trading shots isn't really a great idea. No. I mean, he's had some good dice so far. Um, and that last round when Evan did not take a focus with Jess, that, that was... Brutal. That really hurt him. Actually, it might have only saved him a damage. 
Yeah. So what do you do now if you're Jess? Where do you go? Hmm. She does have flight assist to leverage. Oh no, oh, she's she chucked it. it. Right. K turn. Yeah. Maybe that's a safe place. Will she fit? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're good. For a 5K? No. But yeah, I think you should be good right there. Um, yeah. That rock is outside of range two of the board edge, I think. She's just doing a one straight. Trying to play it safe, get the focus token. Snap. What will snap dare? Uh oh. Three hard. It's the T-roll. Oh, no. Nope. Sorry. My mistake. I always call things too fast on stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nailed it. Never mind. <laughs> All right. He's doing exactly what uh, we thought he might. Yeah. The first time we predicted it. <laughs> He's going to grab a target lock on Nora. What is Nora doing? One forward. One forward. And does he get the block or no? Nope. That fit. Wow. Um, Snap's going to eat it, obviously. Yep. That's what um, Nora wanted for Christmas. He needs it, though, right? I mean, this... He has to do... Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Super Nora. Oh, That's no. Oh, no. I mean, that is rough. Because that might have been close. I don't think it was, but, you know. There we go. That looks like it's pretty reset to how it was. Yeah. Um, it's an imperfect game. Yeah. It's actually the biggest pain that i found is I've been flying Kimagilas lately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> using a stupid bullseye R yeah. and constantly laying that down. <laughs> yeah. It is brutal on the game state. Yeah, yeah. Well, they've also got those, those big wide wings and, like, your sleeve will catch them and just, yeah. like, go get them flung across the room. The worst, though, is the silencer. The Thai silencer. Oh, I, I was playing a list with two of them, and it was just like every round it would be like, you'd have to stick your arms in like operation. Oh, is boosting, boosting, boosting. Okay, so this round is a reprieve for Evan. Well, I mean, like this is a, this is what he needs, right? Yep. Um, Nora could, but probably won't one shot. Wow, he did get four. So, snap hangs on to life. If we've got his health count right. Yep. All right. So we got a one hull snap. We got a two hull Jess. Oh, that snap didn't even have integrated. Yeah. Good thing he rolled an evade. <laughs> but uh, auto thrusters saved him damage earlier yeah, in the for game. Sure. So I mean, auto thrusters are rarely a bad investment. Yeah. It's very tempting just to talon roll with Poe here. Shoot Jess. Try to end it there. I mean, Poe, you might as well hard in. Hard turn in. Yeah, if you don't get arc. Well, my worry, I guess, is uh, Jess will block it. Um, but I suppose she'd block. With flight assist, he should be okay. Yeah. Right? Like, Jess isn't going to get into that arc which means he should be able to dial in something like a three hard barrel back 
and uh, away from the combat and then just turn in. And I don't mm -hmm. know if Jess can actually block that. Well, she's this. got flight assist too. It's been popped. Right, I keep forgetting that. And even then, that wouldn't go off, right? Like, she's got to move first, and I don't think mm -hmm. she's going to get... She's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. She's got to somehow try to keep Poe off her, hope that Snap doesn't also get on her, and Nora has to finish Snap off. Yeah. I mean... Jess does still have a boost on the end of her action, so if she does a three turn towards Poe and boosts, and he doesn't do a K turn. Oh yeah, that Poe doesn't have BB-8. Yeah. My bad. Hmm. But Snap can like program a three bank or a three turn, do his Snap boost. Oh yeah, he could be pretty much anywhere he needs to. Yeah, you can get Arc on her. We got 22 minutes left. And the big thing is, is this is a round where I could actually see Poe using um, a barrel or a boost. Nora's going to have a really hard time killing that Poe. I don't think she'll be able to do it in the time remaining. With the ability that that black one to shed that lock, that is going to be a yeah. nasty uphill battle. On the other hand, he'll have to do enough damage to actually hurt her. All right, so that's Snap just does the snap boost here. Points himself in, and Poe does a two turn or a three turn, and just doesn't really have much chance. He's just taking a focus. He must be confident he has arc there. Ooh, that's brutal. Yeah. Even if she does target lock, you're not Poe getting here. arc on that. Yeah. You're not getting arc on snap. Yep. So should she target lock snap for next round? I think so. Uh, I actually don't know if I'd stay stressed. Yeah. So she's gonna get a stress. So next round she can do a green. Yep. Get a focus target lock barrel roll. You gotta be worried about Snap being a crazy blocker. Yeah. Right? I mean. Okay, so Poe does not have arc, but he can get it. Yeah, flight assist. Yeah, I mean, you might as well go back on this and get the heck out of arc. Yep. The evade he doesn't really need. So, is that a range one? How did he get... Uh, how did he get a target lock as well as a focus? And Oh, he had the focus the already? Yeah. Might as well spend it. Got yeah, four dice well. in and... Yeah. I definitely spend the target lock. Oh, for sure, no question. I'd spend and, the focus uh, too. Just get her off the board. Yeah, agreed. And she takes two and dies. Yeah, I mean, Poe still has auto thrusters versus Nora's shot, and he has an evade token. Oh, maybe it was range two. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> We've got two. Yeah, that's not very scary for Poe. Yeah, range three. He can use his evade to flip his intensity back the other way. There we go. He's intensified. Now Nora is in deep trouble. Oh, yeah. She's got to get Arc on snap. And if Poe is smart here, he can pull the target lock off her with black one. Yeah. Uh, away yes. from snap, yeah. What, you just one bank in with yeah. Nora? Like, yeah. What, as well. Yeah, I mean, maybe a two bank, but one bank seems safer in case uh, snap goes for the block. Yeah. 
Just two turn for snap. Focus. Bank one for Poe. Focus. Even boost if he wants to and activate his intensity. Maybe eight red dice on Nora. What can Nora do? Um, if she can kill Snap, it's... Oh yeah, she shoots first, right. It's an interesting endgame. I think I just run with Snap here, to be honest. That's a thought, yep. And like, at least just reposition, right? Like, I wouldn't mm -hmm. play this. Yeah. I would get the heck out, yep. line it up how you want to on that hall. Mm -hmm. Make Evan put Nora in a really bad position to kill Snap, and then unload with Poe. Yeah. Just round after round. Or, I mean, just run with Poe, right? Like, at this point, yeah. Harry doesn't really have to sacrifice Poe. Well, I think with that flight assist Astromech, if he's careful, he can spend most rounds arc dodging Nora. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. he can plan a maneuver which will give him arc, put him out of arc of Nora, or if he doesn't have arc, then he can try to get out of arc. I mean, in effect, he's got two reposition moves. Right? If yeah. he doesn't have arc, because he's got a bar possible barrel roll of flight assist, then pose own boost. It's return. He's going in. Not taking your advice and running away. But maybe he's going for the block here. Oh. Yeah, not as close as one would have thought. If Nora does the one straight, she's got him. And the one bank might be blocked. The one bank might. So. Oh no! Oh, did it fit? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Mudgies. That's <laughs> that's that then. Still, Poe can take the target lock off of Snap. Yeah, she's got to kill Snap. Even if she ends up with only a focus for modification, she's got to try. He's only got one hole. I don't know if I would barrel roll here. Yeah, sure. she'll still have arc. I'm not quite sure why he did that. I mean, he may just be trying to use the action so next round he gets to use Kyle. Oh, um, I don't know if that boost fits. Yeah, you remember that right? lock. We have not seen Perry remember that he can do it so far. I don't know if you can afford to do it, to be honest. I would not boost down. I think it would still give him mark on Nora. Eh, maybe not. Well, you definitely can't boost straight. You can't boost towards uh, Perry's end of the board. And... He's going to try. This puts Poe in a very nasty spot. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Well, he can Talon roll right next turn. There he goes. He removes the target lock. All right. So 15 minutes remain. And here comes Poe's shot. And it's hot fire. <laughs> oh, Nora's going to... Lose all shields and take a crit. It's been a bad dice day for Evan. It's a direct. It's another direct. So Nora's suddenly on five. And Nora shoots, spends a focus, gets two. So if Snap rolls paint on both, he does. He lives. Oh, no. Harry's dice have been <laughs> super hot. Yeah. Not that Evans have necessarily even been bad, but Perry's have been. Evans have been pretty bad. Hot. Like, and hot, snap. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, look at that. So it's two more crits into Nora. We have weapons failure and another direct. So I think she's on two one, directs. one hull. Yeah. yeah. Well, that happened. Yeah, now you're right. You just talent roll this and call this a game. Yep. This thing's done. Yep. 
Wild. I mean, the chances of Evan coming back here and no. winning this in the last no. 14 minutes, given that one point <clears throat> difference between the two of them. Hey, here's a question for you. So let's say we have a final salvo as a result of having only Nora and Poe left on the table. Yeah. But Nora has a weapons failure. Does she roll two dice or three? Three. Okay. So the weapons failure it's doesn't... It's your card. It's your printed value. Okay. Right, right, right. right. Um, right. Actually, does Nora roll... Two dice on You're right, uh, she would. Yeah. final salvo. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, yeah. the title gives you this extra one. Yeah. However, that's not the case here because uh, Perry has a bid of one point, so far as we can tell. And I don't think we're going to need it. No, <laughs> it's probably not coming to that. All right, so it's looking good for wow. the newcomer to the league, Perry Lowe. This is his first season. Uh, and uh, Elric Stormbury. Yes, thank you. Um, and this is looking great for him. He can uh, make his way into the semifinals where he will be facing off. No, it's the quarterfinals next, right? This was the Ring top quarter. eight. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can't speak English today. So we'll go down to semifinals next, yeah. then finals. Yeah, semifinals. Uh, so Eric Zang says, brutal turn for Perry. No, that was a great turn for Perry. That was a terrible turn for Evan. Full Nora to one hall, yeah. <laughs> it's wild, wasn't it? And Snap's like, I've done my job. Yeah. I'm going. Poe, you deal. <laughs> Turns out when you um, roll all hits all yep. the time, um, <laughs> you, you can be fine with it. <laughs> and Nora's doing the only thing she can, a two straight. Regenning a shield. I think Poe just PS kills her. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure she even cleared there. They're figuring it out. Oh, no, she didn't. Ouch. Should we get her focus token from Kyle? Then maybe that no one's shooting on her this round. Yep, there's the Talon. But there's not going to be an arc for Poe, so it's one more round to live for Nora. Oh, no, he's just running. Right. Or, I mean, not really running to the extent he's just relining this back up. Yeah. I mean, it's not so much running. I mean, it's not great for him to take his time. Nora will get all the way up to four hull that way, or four health. Um, yep, did... Oh. Noah, did Evan remember to recoup the shield? I didn't see. So Poe does a barrel roll with his flight assist. And gets boost. And boost. And that'll probably get him out of Nora's arc. Yeah. Well, Nora can do a two-turn here. Oh, yeah. There's the shield. Oh, yeah. She's got a weapons failure, too. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, that's one of those roll-to-fix ones. So, you know, she could spend, like, three rounds desperately trying to fix that. Yeah. Just. This is grim. Yeah. Very, very right. grim. So, if you're Perry... You just run with Snap and just get him out. I mean, the, two rounds ago, he did awesome by not running with him. <laughs> I know, right? You were you could just hard But it was it unlikely. Going. It was <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> so what's he doing? Oh, yeah. He's just he's bloodthirsty now. I mean, I suppose she has only two attack dice at the front arc. His snap boost. Lining it up. Focusing. Evan should be able to arc dodge this, I think. Yep. Oh. Wow, yep. he didn't even go green. So it's a two health Nora. 
Uh, he should be able to PS kill snap. I don't know if... Like, let's see what Poe did. Um, I don't know if he'll... No, he's just going for the face-off. I don't think Poe can get on him this round. Get on her. It's a boost. I don't think that gives a mark. Yeah, rips that lock, man. With Evan's dice, how they've been. Yeah. He needs that lock and that focus so hard. I mean, this is 50-50, right? It's two reds. Sorry, three reds. It's three reds and two greens. Yeah. So it's actually better than 50-50. Not sure what's happening here. Does Poe maybe have arc? No. It looks Doing like Poe's out. Later's. Uh, now is the time you want that to be hot. Oh, it is. Three. It was. Oh, wow. Snap is gone. Okay. And we're back to the tie game, except for the one-point bid on Perry's side. <laughs> with and you have eight minutes left to go. <laughs> and a two-health Nora with the weapons failure. So, <laughs> I don't know what Evan does. Oh, oh I conceded. think Evan just conceded. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be that. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, folks. Uh, our Perry Lowe will advance to the semifinals.